Okay guys, I'm just gonna quickly do a test route for Barking Test Center, Barking Tanner Street. Uh, it's one of the test routes my, one of my pupils did the other day. And yeah, luckily he passed as well. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly do the test route and just point out a few things if, you, if I need to, like the roundabouts and what lanes to be in, how to choose the best lane to go around the roundabout. Um, if you're starting off your driving test from Tanner Street, not across the road where the dead end is, most likely you would be turning right and going to the Barking uh, Roundabout and then going up to, I don't know, where the Shell Petra Pump is and anything. So I'm just gonna uh, do this test route and see how it goes. And please uh, do not only use these videos as a guideline because you may or may not be using the same routes on your test. Uh, if you're not sure about anything, to have a word with your instructors and anything and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. Okay, so before you start your test, you'll be asked to read a number plate. After that, while you're sitting in the car, they most likely, well, they will ask you one tell me question. And after that, they will put, uh, if it's independent driving with the sat nav, they're going to put the sat nav on and just going to tell you to follow the route for a while. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the whole route on sat nav. And if they did, I think they went into one of the car parks for bay parking. So I'm just going to go into the because this sat nav is really stupid. It just doesn't redirect you. Okay, so quickly I'm going to get my, my car started already. I'm going to get my car ready. Because I parked up on the right hand side, I'm going to start the checks. My uh, six point checks from my right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks pretty good. There's a car coming, but it's quite far away. So I've signaled. I'm just going to make my way. At the end of the road. I'm going to turn right. right. Check my mirrors, signal right. Remember the road marking on this giveaway is not very clear. Look right, look left, the bus is quite far away. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, the road marking on this road is not really uh, visible. And I had people think that it was a one-way system the way it is uh, designed or angled. It's not a one-way, it's a two-way street. And make sure you wait on the giveaway. Okay, everyone. I'm just going to look straight ahead, there's enough space for my car to fit in, but I'll just be a bit cautious and I'll just carry on going that way. So I say it's clear for me now. The best way to plan what you're going to do is look at the sat nav before you come to a junction. So at the moment it's showing me roundabout and showing me that I'm going to go right. I don't know what exit yet, but it's saying me that I will go right. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Third exit. <clears throat> so I'm gonna automatically, obviously I'm gonna check my mirrors, I'm gonna signal, and I'm just gonna place myself in the right lane. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. The best way to take the third exit on this roundabout is just while at the traffic light, aim for the middle lane. So if you could see, not where the white car is, it's the one next to it, middle lane. I'm just going to go and place myself on that one and I'm just going to stay on that lane, middle lane, just to do the whole uh, roundabout and take the third exit, which should make me end up on the left hand side as I'm taking the exit. Check my mirrors quickly. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna go for it. I aimed and came to the middle lane. I'm just gonna follow it down. And that middle lane becomes the left lane now. I'm gonna quickly check the left signal left. You won't be able to see what's ahead of me because of the motorbike. But the lane, there's two lanes going in, and as soon as you pass the traffic light, it becomes one lane. So just be careful as you go in. Yeah, just quickly look in the mirror, see what's going on. It looks pretty fine. I'm just going to carry on going now. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of traffic coming back. Hopefully the route's not going to bring me back this way. Okay, I'm just here. as I'm driving straight, I'm just gonna quickly look at the sound. Like, it's telling me I'm gonna come up to a roundabout and I'm gonna go right to you. So while I'm driving, I'll quickly think how I'm gonna do that roundabout. I'm 
do a traffic light, check my mirrors, start slowing down. Check my mirrors, get ready, looks pretty good. As I pass the traffic light, the two lanes they become one, so get ready to merge in. On my right hand side, it looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna glide in a little. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Second exit. From, while I'm driving, if I look at the sat now, I can see after I've taken that second exit, there's another roundabout that we're going left. So I'll just plan ahead what I'm going to do. For this one, it's a bit tricky because sat nav is going to tell you to be on the left Go lane. Right you can't be on the left lane. And take the second exit. You cannot be on the left lane because the left is for turning left. So I'm just, I'm just going to stay in the middle, or you can stay on the right lane and decide. So if you're going to be in the middle lane, try to finish you off on the middle. Past the first exit, quickly going to look on the left, signal left, I'm going to merge in. And now this bus lane is only operational from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So at the roundabout, if you are going straight or if you're taking left, make sure you get into the bus lane. After 100 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Then turn left. Center mirror, left mirror, signal, start looking go at the right hand the side. Roundabout. And take the, the first exit, then turn left. On your test, if you are going to do a bay parking, most turn likely left, it's going to be inside the test go space. right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just quickly go into the test centre, do a little bay parking and come back out again. Because as go I right said, on the roundabout and take the second exit, then turn left. Now this woman keeps on talking at the same time as I do. Turn left, then turn around when possible. Uh -huh. okay. Turn around when possible, then at oh, the end of the I'll road, this turn road. right. And what I'll do, I'll actually do a forward bay parking. So I'll just park up here, secure the car. And I'll do a bay parking on the right hand side, forward bay parking on the right hand side of my choice, any bay of my choice. Cool, I'll get the car ready. I'll look all around. Okay, looks pretty good to me. And you can see me if you want to. It's pretty good. Start turning into the bay. I'm inside the bay. I'll just stop here and secure the car. Oh, damn, that looks pretty good. Cool. So remember, it's not just about safely coming into a bay, it's about safely going out of bay as well. So just because you've done a perfect bay does not mean they do not take care when you're going out, okay? So get your car ready, reverse. Just gonna look all around. Looks pretty good. And as I'm reversing, as I'm reversing, I'm going to keep my eyes on the mirrors and all around me. It's pretty good. Okay, I've got my shoulders. All right, stop, drive, and carry on. No, I can't go this way. I don't know why the sat nav is telling me to go left and left. Turn left, then turn left. Yeah, yeah. Turn right, then at the end of the road, sharp left. Sharp left, then at the end of the road, turn right. Turn right, then go left on the roundabout and take the first ex- Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then at the end of the road, turn left. Well, I mean, now I know why a lot of learners get confused with this sat-nav. 
It's a lot Turn of ages left. to take in. You know what? I don't usually use this uh, Tom Tom sat nav for my independent driving. I just plan the routes on the Google map and I just do it like that. It's much more easier. Forgot to signal here. Quickly look on the right hand side. There's a, there's quite a lot of cars coming. So I'll just wait for them. Keep an eye on the right, but at the same time, keep an eye on the left in case someone's crossing over or a motorbike came in front of you. Let me get after this van, it looks pretty good. Let me go for it. Then you'll come to a little roundabout which you're going to take. You're going to go right after here, 200 after yards, the hotels are. cross the roundabout and take the third exit, third then exit. take the exit. Take the exit. Just going to signal as it's the right exit. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit, then take the exit. First exit, second exit, third exit, look in the mirrors, signal left. And I'm just going to carry on because you're joining in After the air grid, trying to match up the speed. Take the exit, then keep left. I took the exit, and the sat nav has instructed me to stay on the left hand side, so I'm going to take the stay on the left hand side. Why is this guy flashing at me? I do not have a clue. Okay. Take the exit, then keep left. Keep left. If, you, if you're not familiar with the area, just look at the sat nav. And I can see there's, it shows that there's four lanes, three going straight, one going left. On the left is the one highlighted, and this is where I should be. And there's a roundabout there. So at the moment I'm on the A46, I'm going to join the A13, the Tilbury exit. Should have been doing this while you're driving. This is just a left turn here on this left lane. You can, you sh and you should signal if it's going to help or benefit someone. Okay, as you go in, keep most likely left, you're going to keep then left. Keep right. And anything, but your left lane will come to an end when you go further down. This usually I tell my learners when they turn left, if it's if it's safe keep to right, do so, go on the right turn lane. Turn left. Because the right lane carries on onto the A13. And the lane that I am on now, when you go a bit further down where the DPD van is, just after that it ends, so I have to merge into the right anyway. But if you are going to merge in right, as soon as you take the left, do it early because then you got the hedge lines in the middle. And you shouldn't really cross them over, should you? Let's see. I'll just slowly join the queue and I'll signal so I'll let other drivers know. The other drivers should know that I'll be joining them because even they can see the road finishes here. Okay, I can see a good gap between me and the car behind me, so I'll just quickly join and I'll just look what's going on behind me.
after 400 yards, turn left. Depending on the time of the day you take your test, most likely you will take everything you left again. As soon as you join the A13, you will take your left again at Gus, uh, what's it called? Gascon Road or something. So try not to speed up too much because that left does come quite quick. It's just before the BP petrol pump. But luckily for me, the traffic is very slow, so I don't have to speed up anyway. It's just after the footbridge. Turn left. So I'll just see, check my mirrors, I'll signal. Because I signaled the cars on the giveaway, they know I'm turning in, so they could decide if they want to go out or not, depending on how close the car behind me is. New road, new rules, new road, new speed limit, a new road, new hazards. That's it, there's a lorry parked on the right hand side, but they got the obstruction on their side, so it's my right away. There was no speed limit sign here, so just assume it's 30 and do 30 because if it was 20, they would have told you, okay, you're gonna come up to your priority junction. There's a lot of things going on at the moment. It's my priority because I'm, but my arrow is bigger than the other one. That's it. The next one is my priority again because my arrow is bigger than their one. So, oops, he's gonna go for it. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, then bear right. Okay, they gave me two information at the same time. They wanted me to take the third exit on the right, and after I've done that, they want me to do bear right. Okay, I'll just quickly check my center go mirror, right, on right mirror, I'll signal right, and take right the third exit, so people then know what my intentions right. are. If you look on the right hand side, there's a black car coming this way. Oops, it signaled a bit late. I'll carry on. It's a good girl. Okay, first exit, second exit. As I pass the second exit, look on the left, signal left. I'm gonna go in for it. There's a bus lane, so make sure you finish on the right. They want me to bear right because on the roundabout. I'm going right to you, the next roundabout. That's the one with After the After 200 shop. yards, bear right, then keep left. Okay, one of my learners, she failed on this roundabout because as she was going on the roundabout, she did not look over her shoulders for some reason. I'll signal right. This is the roundabout with the little shop in the middle. As I come to the giveaway, I'll just quickly look over my shoulders, looks pretty good. So I'll just carry on. Bear right, then keep left. Okay, two informations again. Take right, then bear left. And as you come to this, <clears throat> as you're going to take right here, remember there's a giveaway and there's a pedestrian crossing. So keep an eye out, there's two ladies here. That's it, another one with the cycle. While I wait for her to cross, I'm gonna keep an eye on that lady on the left. She wheels. Nope, she hasn't made her mind up. Okay, I'm gonna go, give way, look on the left, looks pretty good. And the Tom Tom lady wanted me to stay left. While I was taking that turn, keep I looked left, at the bus. Then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. As I was saying, I kept an eye on that bus and the bus had hazard lights on. After 200 yards, go left so on I the roundabout on. and take the first exit. Okay. It's a lot of bloody roundabouts. Then pedestrian crossing, look to the left, right, right, left, looks pretty good. Go left good, on so the roundabout on. and take the first exit. Okay, there used to be a mini roundabout here. There's no more roundabout here. So... They just made it like one road now. But it's getting cold in here. It? It's getting soft now. 
pedestrian crossing looks here left right right left looks pretty good so I'll just continue Check my mirrors, use of the gas, look on the left, right, right, left. There's no one standing there, so most likely they didn't press the button and it's gonna stay green. That's pedestrian crossing. This the same rules do not apply for junction crossing. Because junction crossing they're all timed, right? If it's been green for a very long time, it's as you're approaching it, it's very likely that it's gonna turn red. Okay, another pedestrian crossing, look in my mirrors. As I'm changing speed, ease off the gas. After the 300 left. yards, the turn right. left. Looks okay, no one's standing there, so I'll just continue to progress with my speed. The bus lane here, but there's no bus lane information, so I, didn't, I do not know if I should use it or not. So I'm not going to risk it and use it, but I'm turning left anyway. So I, I know where the double solid lines finish, so I'll just turn left. check my thing, mirrors, signal left, and as it finishes, I'll position myself on the left. It just turned green now, so it's very unlikely it's going to turn red again. So I'll just carry on. So yeah, I'm on left on Apni Lane now. Apni Station is going to be on my left hand side. The hazard on the road, so I edge a bit towards the right. Looks very really good. Enough clearance. I'll carry on. The pedestrian crossing up ahead. It's been green, but I cannot see if anyone's standing there, so I'll just ease off the gas a little so I don't have to slam it if it's red. On the left, right, there's no one there, so I'll just continue. After 300 yards, turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Okay, that is washed or dry. I'll just check my mirrors now. I'll start seeing early signal. I'll look turn at the road right, marking. Then turn left. I'll just go into the arrow now. Keep my car straight. Look ahead. Look to the right. Looks pretty clear. I go in. Turn left. Then turn left. Mirrors, mirrors, signal. To the left, look on the right, left, right, looks pretty good, continue, if the woman wanted me to turn right, I'll just check my mirrors in advance, and see, turn right, yes ma'am, keep my car straight, look on the right, right is pretty clear, left is clear, I'll look on the right again, Nice and smooth, red light, just stop here. Steady amber, it's green now. Check my mirrors, let's go. And start picking up your speed. Okay, 30 miles per hour. You shouldn't be driving 20 miles per hour. Just because you're not sure if there is no road si uh, speed signs. I see majority of the roads, main roads in Barking and Goodmates, they are 30 miles per hour. After 200 yards, turn left. If it's 20 miles per hour, you would know before you enter the road. Oops, something just happened to my sat now. I don't know turn what, left. what happened to my sat now. We just went a bit bonkers. But I cannot see it properly. But I was showing me bird's eye view, so I'm just going to go with that. Good, so I'm gonna carry on. I don't know what's going 
going on, but I'm going to see if I'm the sat nav. At the end of the road, turn right, then turn left. I'm just assuming they came into this road to either turn do right, then turn left. A parallel parking or park on the right and reverse to your car's length. Or turn left. Maybe an emergency brake. I could see a learn up front is doing a parallel parking. You know, if I find some spot, I'm going to do a parallel parking as well. There was no no new speed sign, so I'm assuming it's still 20 miles per hour here. After 100 yards, turn right. Okay. Turn right. This one. Okay. Sorry, my mistake. This one came quite fast. I thought it was the next one. As I said, my sat nav is playing up today. You park up behind that black car on the left hand side when it's safe to do so please park up on the left check your mirrors signal line up and stop and secure the car i don't know what that it does you want to go in there i think i just parked up on this okay i'll just carry on Is the car coming i'll just wait here for him I know what you guys are going to say, I should have done my six point check check, and I didn't do it. I was looking behind me anyway. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a pile of parking here. Okay, if you're too close to the car in front, try to reverse back a little because when you're turning out, you will be turning a lot. And when you're turning a lot, you're most likely going to turn up on the other side of the road a lot as well. Okay, so just get your car ready. Check all around, looks pretty good. Reverse a little. Okay, keep an eye on the mirror. You don't want to scrape the curb either. Then put it on drive, look all around again. Signal as you go out. Go and park next to the car that you're going to use. As soon as you park up in the car station, you put it on reverse. That's a sign for any cars behind you. That you're about to reverse, you can signal left as well to let people know in front of you as well. Looks pretty good. So you start reversing, keep an eye on the houses as well and the mirrors. Because anyone could just a little child could run out, the car could start driving off from the driveway. As my wing mirror lines up with the back of the car, I'm gonna do one turn to the left. While I do that, I've got some ground to cover. I'll use this opportunity to look around that's it my car is at a 45 degrees angle and the back handle has touched the pavement so i'll start doing two turns to the right one two i'll keep an eye on the mirror looks pretty good over my shoulders keep the car at a turtle's pace and my car is roughly straight so i start turning one wheel one to the left so my wheels are straight and when I'm done, I'll just stop the car, secure the car. That's it, done. I've got a little bit of gap from the pavement, but remember, you're allowed a drain's width, okay? Cool, when you're ready, drive off, please. I'll just quickly get the car ready, handbrake down, do my six point check, four, five, six, looks pretty good. I'll signal as I'm going off, I'll quickly look in this mirror. I see the road looks pretty good and clear so I'll just stay in the middle of the road unless a car like this pulls up so I'll just look on the left and I'll just give him some way to go I'm not going to block this junction just because I don't know his intentions yet now I do he's going straight look on the right and go the reason he's not going to block any junction at is the end of the road turn left then turn right I need to put this one on mute actually check my mirrors signal Turn left, then turn right. 
two information. Remember, turn left and turn right. So be prepared. Okay, right looks good. Left looks good. Right looks good. I'll quickly do that. Then turn left. It's must be so. Turn, turn right. right. Check my mirrors. I'll just go and use this box that has been provided for me to approach safety. The car behind me. Okay, thank you. As I go into the road, it's one way. There's no speed limit here. The car reversing, so I'll start slowing down because just because I saw him, it's not necessary that he saw me. So that's why we always need to know what the intentions are of our drivers. I'm not in a rush, so I'll stop and let him go. I wouldn't have went far anyway because there's a van stuck in front of me. Gosh, this video is getting quite long. How am I going to edit this? I don't even know how to edit it. Okay, now you most likely, if you're down somewhere here, most likely that your test is about to end and you're going to end up on the road that is a dead end, it's called Park Avenue. When you park there, remember uh, at the same time there might be other people coming back from the test. So After make sure you park yards, in a way that you you're never going to obstruct anyone and obviously it's safe. Make sure it's safe. I could see two learner cars ahead of me, so maybe they went out for their test. So I'm not going to park next to them. I'm just going to take the. I'm just going to continue left, and I'm going to take the first left. I'm just going to try to stay out of the way. Oh my goodness! One, two, three, four. Okay. What I'm going to do? I'm just going to turn left, and I'm just going to park up somewhere here. I'm going to do, I'm going to park up on the right hand side, there's a bay here, and I'll just park up here, there you go, when you're parked up safely, just secure your car, and that's it, that's the test street for Barking, Tanner Street, um, there might be, some instructors might be looking at the video and f saying that, yeah, I, I made a lot of mistakes driving and anything, uh, bearing in mind that I'm just a rookie mate, I've only been in this job for like, what, less than a year. So there are much more experienced instructors out there who would spot some of the things, or they might have better ideas of how to navigate through these streets and anything. So, and as I said earlier on, do not use, only use these videos as a guideline, okay? You may or may not be using the same routes. You must go completely a different route. I remember one of my people, because of the roundabouts in Barking, one of the roundabouts has got a giveaway in the middle of the road. So even though you are on the roundabout, you still have to wait for your left-hand side. I will make a video of that one next. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that was my first test. Uh, I was taking the people to my first test in Barking and some, some other instructor advised me on that. We spent two days just practicing that roundabout. On the day, she she did not even go on the roundabout. She went um, towards Ilford. She used um, Ilford Hill, uh, Cranbrook Road and anything. Uh, and yeah, so just don't assume that you'll be using these roads. It's good to tell your instructor that you're going to come and practice these roads and anything and advise them what's the best possible way to do it. Okay, for now, please like and subscribe and share the video with your friends and families if they're taking testing barking. Cheers.